Pop Kennel, guys. Today we have some uh, some poke salmon, and we got some uh, rib steak, ribeye beef steak, and we put a little small bit of uh, puppy food in there, and some of these here goat pellets. So I'll be sprinkling these gold pellets in their food for a while until the bag is gone. Um, it's a great dewormer and it's good good fiber. So without ado, let's get into it. As you can see, they're digging in. You gotta be careful because these guys have gotten seriously greedy. But they go crazy for meat. So a lot of people, you know, often be like, hey man, what do you feed those dogs? You know, they coming in the game eating the best of the best. You know, there's a little water in there as well. Gotta be careful and just sit here for a while because the little ones, you know, sometimes they get a little chunk stuck in their mouth, but it doesn't seem like they choke on it or anything. They just go crazy for it. Uh-oh, Cheetah got her the pink salmon or the poke salmon or whatever, salt guy, whatever. Wild caught. <laughs> so since this is a large litter of puppies, I'm using a large plate, well a large pan I should say, and these guys have been eating about every two hours, like sharks. Earlier they had some sweet potatoes and uh, pork shoulder, no pork shoulders, carrots, and I believe that's the only two ingredients. Pork shoulder, carrots, yeah. So they didn't have any grains. They had a lot of dog food as well. You can see the bellies on these guys and those bellies are full of meat because there's no worms in here. Because by sprinkling these, these goat pellets in there, you know, goats, if you know anything about goats, they're kind of sensitive. So that's why I use this kind of dewormer because, you know, basically it's less it's sensitive, you know, to them. And I don't have to worry about overdosing them. And I just feed it to them slowly. Once we get through this bag, so this is what I do. I'm not saying that anyone else should do this. But once we get through this bag, Pretty much the worms are eradicated but i will also deworm with um fenbenzalol fenbenzalol and um you know a couple of other dewormers so as you can see this guy's backing up this means he's probably eating on something that he can't get down his mouth but now he done got it down you see the belly on these guys that's full of meat no worms just meat because it is you can see the dewormers in there as well and i just sprinkle it in all their meals until the whole bag is gone then after that i'll go into a bi-weekly dewormer whereas i give them two or three different types of dewormer just to kind of shock the worms. And once you start deworming, once you don't see any worms, yeah, worms are gone, but like worms leave eggs. So you have to break the cycle of the worms, which means you have to worm, you know, every week or, you know, sometimes you got to use different dewormers. Everybody has a few different methods that they use. I like my method the best because it guarantees that they get dewormed without just overdoing it. I kind of wait, I like to wait till they start feeding on solid foods. 
Because uh, over here at Club Kennel, we kind of eradicated all pests. We're almost to the point where there's no worms will be present in our dogs. And uh, we already have, you know, no fleas and no disease. As you can see, these guys are full. I mean, they're, they're, they're like tanks. And every two hours, they're getting a healthy meal like this. As you can see, it's nothing left but a little bit of pellets and some deep, and, um, some food. So this is their second big meal like this. They eat, uh, they eat off their mother still. Look at them eyes. See if we can catch them blue eyes. We can. Oh, we can't catch them right now, but trust me, they got blue eyes. Well, guys, it's late at night. Get ready to clean the yard and call it a day. Thanks for tuning in.